Welcome to this demo of developing web applications with Oracle Visual Builder. My name is Shai Schmelzer. Developing in Visual Builder is done through your browser. Let's create a new application. We provide a name and we can choose a template. We'll just use an empty template for our application. When we create an application, we can create a web or mobile one. We can connect to REST services or business object. We can use components from a catalog or processes. We'll start by creating a new web application, choosing a template for our page with a navigation menu on the top right, providing options in this menu so we can navigate between those sections of the application. This takes us into the visual editor. In the middle, we have a visual area showing us the layout of our page. On the left side, we have a set of components we can drag into the page. And on the right side, we have a property inspector where we can change properties of the components to define their look and feel. On the left side, those are all the Oracle Jet web components that we can use on the page. Let's add a couple of layout components, panels, to lay out our page. We'll provide a little bit more space for us to see our page layout and drop two panels one next to the other. Into each one of those panels, we're going to drop another UI component. We'll drop a table component into the left one, and from the rich set of visualization components, we're going to pick up a bar chart and put it on the right side. We can easily resize each one of those components to fit the space we need. And then we can change properties through the property inspector. Using the quick starts, we can bind it to data. To get some data, we're going to start by using business object. We'll use our data manager to create business object from Excel spreadsheet. We'll pick up an Excel spreadsheet from our hard drive, load it into the cloud. Visual Builder would parse the spreadsheet, understand the structure of the spreadsheet, and we'll create tables in an Oracle database in the cloud and expose them as business objects that we can access. Here is the data already in the Oracle tables in the database, and here are the fields. We can now go over and modify the fields to add additional fields of different types. For example, we'll add a Boolean field to indicate whether the employee is a manager, and we'll add another field to connect the list of employees to the department. This way, we can assign each employee to one of the departments in our departments object. The business object exposes a set of REST services that allow us to interact with the data from our user interface or from other applications. Back in the user interface, we'll use the quick start to connect our table to the business object of employees, picking the fields that we want to show in the table. We can change the type of each one of those fields and we can rearrange them to fit our need. Clicking finish, will take us back into the visual editor where we're going to fetch the data and show live data inside our design environment. We use a similar approach to bind the graph into the same business object showing the salary for each employee. We can use quick starts in addition to create an edit page, a delete page, and a details page. Let's create the edit page, again, choosing the fields that we want to allow people to edit. And click finish to create our page. Back in our home page, we now have an edit button. We'll switch to live mode, allowing us to interact with the application as though it is the runtime environment. We'll pick an employee, click on the edit, and we'll be navigated to the page that shows us the details of the employee, allowing us to edit those details. Let's go back into design mode and modify the structure of the page. We can again choose a component from the left side, shuttle it into the page, change the size of the avatar, and then hook it to the variable that contains the data about the employee picture. Next, we can rearrange the page using the structure pane, for example, moving things along our layout to rearrange them. We can, of course, change the layout also directly in the visual editor by dragging and dropping components. Let's change the property of the form to show two columns of data. Switching back into the live mode allows us to interact with the list of department coming from another business object, update the employee to reflect it's a manager, and save the data. Next, we're going to show you how to add business logic to our page. 
we use an event-driven architecture. Here, for example, is the event that is going to be fired on the table when we select a record. On the left side, we have a collection of actions and business logic that we can add to the page. In this case, we'll add a navigation to another page. We edit the action, we choose the page, and we need to indicate which employee we're going to edit. So we're going to pass a parameter that contains the employee ID. This now allows us to work in a way where we click on an employee to get to the editing page, like that. Beyond connecting to business object, we can also connect to external REST services. Let's add another UI component to our page. We'll use a select component and we'll add it to the end of our form. And we'll hook this component to a list of value that comes from a REST service. We can go over and define a connection to a REST service from a catalog by a specification or simply by specifying the URL for the REST service. We can test the endpoint to make sure that we get the data that we need and keep an example of the data so we can easily map fields to the fields that are returned from the REST service. We'll go back to the user interface and hook up our select box using the quick start, this time to the REST service. This REST service returns a list of all the countries. We're going to use the code of the country as the value, and we're going to show the name in the list. We're also going to set the value of the field to be mapped to the country the employee works in. As you can see, the list now shows the same value as in the country field. Those two items are now synchronized and we can run our application, click on an employee, go over to the edit page, pop up the list for department. We can do a search there to find a department and we can choose a different country for the employee and save the data. All of this development in less than 10 minutes created a complete application using Oracle Visual Builder.